Alright guys, so today I got an autocross event, which I'm really excited for. I've already gone through the car, I got it completely ready, checked all my fluids, got my tire pressures right. But I'm really excited to hurry up and get there. I want to show you guys what it's like, because I know a lot of you out there are probably unfamiliar with autocross, or even wondering what it is. So, this will give you an idea of what it's like to run an event, and hopefully inspire some of you guys to go out and race your cars. Alright guys, so we made it. Now I just need to go find wherever it is I'm supposed to register. I've got like 10 minutes, so I've got to hurry up, but let's get to it. Here we are waiting in line. Got everybody got a little E36 M3 Cabriolet action over there, but I'm ready to go. So for this, I'm just gonna commentate over. I wanted to hook up an external microphone to the GoPro, but I just wasn't able to. I forgot it. My fault, I apologize, but this first run, I actually had no clue what the course layout was. I was so late, I didn't even get to walk the course, let alone look at it. So I was just sort of going really slow, trying to feel it out and figure this track out. It's actually a some sort of karting track or something like that. Now for anybody that hasn't ran an autocross event, pretty much if you don't know the course and you're running, you are screwed. Because these courses are really intricate, you have to do a lot of switchbacks, and the only thing telling you where to go really is the layout of the cones if they're laid over or something, which when you're trying to drive fast is really hard to see. But I'll just be quiet a little bit and let you listen to the car. So one thing I would like to say is I apologize for the angle, I know it's not the best. I wanted to use a suction cup to the roof so it would be a higher up angle and see the course better. But I forgot it because I was in a hurry so I ended up having to use a just standard GoPro mount on the rear deck shelf. So it just got run one out of the way, it was super slow, I didn't even get to walk the course so I was just sort of free balling and going as I wished and it was really slow, I think it was like a 78, I want to try to trim that down to like 68 or something but I don't know, take two. So now that I sort of know the track, I was able to sort of push the car on this run, I was aiming to trim 10 seconds which I thought it was really aggressive, but my first round was just cruising, so I figured it was manageable. But now that I'm actually starting to push the car, this is when I start to become frustrated. I'm suffering from a lot of understeer and turning is just terrible. Now this is my own fault, my front tires are actually really bald from doing left foot braking burnouts and stuff, which is my own fault, I can't complain, but I started to really fight the car and it just was not doing what I wanted it to do. This really hurt my times throughout the whole day. Also, another thing that I want to talk about is if you notice the passenger seat, like right here, it has a lot of lean in it, and it's because I forgot to put one of the bolts in, so it was really stressing the other three, which is not good. And even the driver's side, if you can see, it has a little flex, which is in the mounts, which I never noticed until I watched this video, so I'm definitely going to need to reinforce the seat brackets or something like that to get it a little. Firmer. I mean, it's completely safe, it's not going to like rip out or anything, but it definitely helps to just make everything more solid. 
So just did run two. Now I actually knew the track a little better this time. So I cut off 11 seconds. I ran like a 67 or something like that. So this run, I just want to get maybe like a 65, maybe. I want to get it down to like low 60s overall at the end of the day. I got two more runs. So after all that, I can finally go. Now, the whole time I ran today, they were just talking trash about my car, but not in a rude way. It's actually really funny. Like, they do it to everybody. They just talk trash over the intercom. Mostly was with me, they were just talking about my bumpers and how it's, everything just held together by zip ties, which, I mean, it is, so they're right, but I found it hilarious, and it was, it was very distracting at the beginning when I'm trying to take off, and they're all just making me crack up, but I've been talking a lot, so now I'll just quiet down and let you listen to the car for a bit. A few of you are probably wondering about the welded diff and how it handles. Now, a lot of people say it's prone to understeer and real tight turns, but I didn't really notice that today. It was mostly just my tires, which the welded diff might have contributed to that, but it wasn't anything really noticeable or a difference between when I ran a limited slip differential. So that was my third run. I don't know what I got. I think the timing score went down. I can go on the footage to sort of get a rough estimate, but. I definitely want to get down to low 60s on this last and final run. Now there might be extra runs later depending on how early it gets done, but for now I'm just going to aim to go fast, maybe it gets squirrely, but let's do it. Now I'm sure all of you are sick of hearing me talk, so for this run I'm just going to be quiet and let you listen to the raw footage. So that was the fourth run. Now I think I ran a 64. I only wanted to hit a 68 and I hit 64, so I'm really happy about that. But now let's just enjoy all the numerous race cars around. Here goes a Honda now. Race car is so let's just enjoy it and listen to some propping. So that was my day running autocross. Now I was actually pretty sketched out about running this event just because I had to drive an hour to the track. 
drive the car all day and then drive an hour back home and then three hours to here in Greenville. It was a lot of driving I, that really sketched me out but the car did great so I mean if you take care of your car it'll take care of you but more importantly I hope this gives all of you out there an idea of what it's like to run an autocross event and hopefully even some of you will take your cars out and race them which would really make me happy but Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like so I know. I'll try to make more videos like this. I run as many events as I can, but I have a busy schedule with school and stuff. And plus, there's not really many in my area, which is why I had to drive so much today. But if you're not subscribed, subscribe for more car videos. And until then, guys.